Hey ladies and gents, we are back with a Helleborn video. It's been a while since I did one of these. Uh, we are doing the MI4 AV. Uh, the AV version in this game is actually the attack version that was built. Uh, this helicopter was used for everything from firefighting to f finding submarines to polar exploration. You name it, this utility helicopter. Well, this was the Russian uh, Huey, right? This thing was used everywhere. Uh, designed uh, in the early 50s, first put into service in 1952. Um, yeah, the, the Russians use this for everything, the, from attack to search and rescue, all that kind of stuff. Uh, able to carry up to 16 soldiers, and then this conversion right here, uh, being the attack version, carried one 12.7 millimeter and 96 57 millimeter rockets and four anti-tank guided missiles. Um, like I said, this one is historically accurate, at least for the loadout. Uh, you know, this is this was uh, really did exist as uh, shown in game. Um, the helicopter had, uh, I do believe, one of the first uh, uh, rotors that would actually come off uh, in event of a uh, disaster. Uh, it was jet jettisonable. Uh, it would fly off. The, uh, the pilots were able to uh, jump out of the helicopter without worrying about getting hat hit by the blades. Um, it, it was. The development of this uh, aircraft, uh, this helicopter, was after the Korean War. Uh, the, the way the United States was deploying the aircrafts, it was also built. If you look at the, like, say, the uh, the Chickasaw uh, American helicopter, you can see that the yeah, it, these two helicopters look very similar. So there was probably a little bit of okay, uh, but it's, this is a much larger aircraft than the Chickasaw. Uh, it had a much um, larger uh, lift capacity, that kind of stuff. Uh, the Indian Army used used this aircraft quite extensively um, and I believe probably around 20 countries or so uh, use this aircraft uh, for the most part um, yeah so like I said this is the Russian Huey this thing was used all the way up until they believe the last one was taken out of operation in 2005 uh, by Albania but then those darn North Koreans are still in fact still using this aircraft in um, in some videos that were found from 2014 uh, so yeah, this plane is, or this helicopter is still, uh, as far as we know, still still flying around in the skies of North Vietnam. Go figure. So with that said, I'm going to bring up the review for the, the the gameplay for you, the helicopter. This is again not an assault. This is just an armed transport. Uh, these planes, these ones are kind of a little difficult in the game. Yeah, you can be able to tra carry uh, troops, uh, and this one actually does have an ex large amount of ordnance on it, uh, and you'll see in the gameplay. But this is going to be my last video on single helicopters. I'm just going to do squadrons from now on with, with three helicopters at one time, uh, getting videos for just one helicopter. Uh, you can only do so much with these armed transports, uh, you know, like spotting troops and all that kind of stuff. You can't do that uh, and, and whatnot. So I'm usually on this one, I usually have at least uh, six of the ten troops, uh, or six of the 16 troops I usually carry uh, mortar crews. Um, you know, obviously, if I'm going to use my scout helicopters, I always like to have mortars around. Uh, so this is the, this works out pretty nice, carrying mortars uh, and having the ability to evac um, casualties and take bases. Uh, however, the fighting part of it, it's still pretty weak. Uh, you know, with the PVE the way it is, uh, it's hard to fly into some of these, uh, you know, take out Objective 7, and they're fully, yeah, uh, it, it doesn't work out that way. So you have to be really selective in the objectives that you're doing. If you're just flying this helicopter, um, obviously, like I said, with my reviews, I'm going to start doing multiple helicopters so I can do the whole game, uh, and you guys can see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to bring up the gameplay for you guys uh, right now. All right, fellas, back with the first game in the MI4. Uh, this, was, this, this helicopter, like I said, was the... Uh, Russian version of the Huey um, eventually phased out for the MI-8 uh, but the thing served for you know uh, we're talking it's still serving 60 some years uh, you know it, it's obviously Russian built so therefore um, you know a sledgehammer baseball bat whatever you know we're just gonna smack on something and it's probably gonna work here so we're gonna pull off here we got objectives up already um, playing the PVE version uh, sometimes it's hard to find. Uh, there was actually nobody on to play PvP, so we're just going to do the PvE here. We're pulling in here, and it's been a little while, so you're going to have to uh, stomach my landing abilities <laughs> and my shooting abilities. Yeah, a little rusty. So we're going to drop in here in the landing zone, but we're going to capture landing, uh, landing zone uh, 2 first, and now I got the objective of capture landing zone 5. And this is what this helicopter does fairly well. 
um, is the uh, you know capturing objectives, uh, removing casualties and that stuff. And if you have to in a pinch, uh, I don't typically like to do this. It helped when I picked up the uh, ATGMs uh, to taking out some of the armor on these uh, maps. Uh, but we're going to pull in over at 5 because we have to capture landing zone 5. So we pull in relatively slow helicopter, about 150 kilometers an hour for most, 50 kilometers an hour for most for the cruising speed. So it's it, it's a slow, I mean, it, it's big, it's old, it's Russian. Um, yeah, not, not the quickest thing in the world here. So we'll drop in on 5. We're going to capture 5. I don't have enough troops. Uh, that objective pretty much came up right as I was doing it. So we've captured landing zone 5. Uh, objective done and now we're gonna have to go see what we're gonna do here for find and spot enemies two more defending this is something you can't really do with this helicopter you can but you're gonna get the shit shot out of you so not gonna happen so we got another objective shows we got capture all positions at loanings I only left that at 75 percent so we're gonna pull over here to, to seven and we're gonna see if we can actually do anything here I've never this is the first game I was using the ATGMs here and I was kind of curious exactly uh, what you can hit uh, no, I can't. Of course, can't see what I'm doing here. So let's try an ATGM here. Anti gang. Do you think I could hit anything? Uh, no, nothing dead. So I'm not going to waste my time here. We're going to throw a couple rockets out there. I still can't right, quite reach it. They're just a little bit out of the reach of the rockets. So we're going to move to the side here, and it's time to, of course, capture. Uh, this is completely captured uh, landing zone five. I've just put down some troops there. Yeah, we're going to get out of here. Apparently everything's burning inside the cabin. Go figure. So, drop down, head out. Not, like I said, not the fastest thing in the world. 150 kilometers an hour. <laughs> For example, I got to get I got to get back, get troops, and then come back to zone 5 um, with 3 minutes. So, from here at 3.15, it's going to take me roughly about a minute just to fly mm, probably a uh, third of the way across the map, roughly. Uh, so yeah, 151 kilometers, 152. Uh, you get it going down, you can get it up over 160, but like I said, for the most part, cruising speed is 150 kilometers an hour. It does have a crap ton of ordnance, I will give it that. Uh, 96, 57 millimeter rockets, and of course you get the 50 cal nine for 900 rounds, and the four ATGMs. So, let's pull on over here. Like I said, I've dropped my um, all my troops off here. I need some more troops to finish off the objective at landing zone 5. And let's see here. Let's see how well I can land uh, after being this far gone. Pull in. Oh, Zem, Zem, come on, buddy. It's not like it's. It's not hard, right? This isn't rocket science. We're landing. We're, we're just landing a helicopter. Down we go. Touchdown. And unfortunately, you know, I will say one of the, the kind of the crappy things about this is that with that many rockets, uh, it does take a while to reload. If you drop all 96 rockets, uh, you're gonna sit here for a fair amount of time. Uh, before you can get going here so we're already over a minute since we passed five and now we're going to wait for load got our full load at 96 rockets uh, let's head back there and pick up uh, zone five um, the other objective i just you know this is the problem of the pve unless you're actually playing with another player or you get somebody that jumps in with you a lot of these objectives you're never going to be able to finish um, at least you know obviously you can finish them uh, but i'm trying to do it here with this one helicopter uh, this thing doesn't do it um, you know, I have a hind with me and a scout helicopter. Uh, that's the other part of the video. I won't show you that part where I was dicking around with that, with those helicopters. We're going to pull over to five here uh, and try to pick it up here. So that's why kind of my decision to go with. Uh, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it with a squadron, and you can watch the whole game instead of just, just the points where I'm trying to do a single helicopter. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm getting old. I'm getting lazy maybe. I don't know what we call it here. So let's pull in here. Pulling in at about 120 drop her down let's see one of my better landings of the day possibly yes there we go we're gonna land right on that square drop in pull down and we're gonna completely pick up landing zone five so I got to support a convoy from six to seven which is fine this is actually works out pretty decent for this helicopter as long as it's in the support role um, if you actually have to take out an objective say like 11 or 9 or just simply defending actually works out pretty well for this helicopter as well too um, where you have stuff coming in and you're not going to take a bunch of flack from um, from a defending base, uh, you can do this here. So I'm going to pull over here. We're going to start in around the other side of this hill here. So like you said already, the AA is ridiculous. However, I do have armored column inbound, so we're going to wait till they kind of soften up a little bit here. And we're going to pull around the corner 
and we're just gonna peek our nose up and over top of this bridge or this ridge here there's my armored column I'm gonna wait till they get a little closer here so they decide maybe they don't want to shoot at me which isn't gonna matter because they're still gonna shoot at me as soon as I pop the ridge uh, you'd think I'm being camouflaged behind the hillside would work so that's all right we're gonna dip over here pick up some speed here and we're gonna try to take out some of these AA mounts there's one we got him like I said with 96 uh, they do a pretty nice I uh, didn't quite get that one pull around like I said not the most agile thing in the world um, but yeah like I said with 96 rockets and those four ATGMs this does actually a pretty nice job of finish this off so putting me at 72 health and of course we have an inbound oh take one to the shorts and drop me down to 37 percent what are you going to do right man pads are a pain in the ass and, and we're on the roll all right so i've dropped off a pretty good chunk of my rockets and of course i'm down to 37 32 percent so the new objective is up here i should have enough time hopefully uh, to make back and repair and th this is one of the downfalls of this helicopter of course is how relatively slow it is uh, trying to go um, from there back to there here. So I'm going to try to get back and of course like I said the reload uh, on the rockets with that many rockets sometimes you have to sit for just a few quite a bit longer than you normally would and normally would have to but hey you're carrying 96 right that's enough firepower to level an entire village at least in Russia maybe. <laughs> so uh, you see me dipping down constantly here I'm trying to get my speed up here so I can get back to the this here as quick as I can the objectives of course um, are coming now eight to seven and of course about the time I land uh, seven gets taken um, no they're no longer they're no they're no longer uh, orange uh, I'm gonna dip down here and pick up my health and pick up some more rockets here because like I said I have uh, incoming attacks on zone seven pull down drop down and like I said takes a little while to re gain your uh, rocket load uh, but that's all right so now I've lost seven uh, however I still have to defend landing zone seven and engage the enemy and uh, uh, convoy in route from eight to seven which is which should be fine like I said uh, but being that these are not assault helicopters these are just armed transports uh, this doesn't always work out the best and you're gonna watch what I'm talking about when you come in here um, and still another reason why I'm going to go to a squadron base doing three helicopters at once instead of one because I would never take this helicopter back every one of these uh, and I probably should have just waited uh, and let these fail uh, but with the changes in the so every time I fail a objective the other team gain, gains uh, their objective so uh, it can be kind of a race here having to sit here wait for objectives to come up that this helicopter can do uh, like I said withdrawing casualties capping objectives and to the for the most part just support is all it's really fairly good at I mean it's not gonna take like I said when you're pulling in here on seven which is now fully blue which means that they're gonna have a crap ton of um, AA but let's give her a go because we're rushing for fuck's sake we should be able to do this right right nope the incoming fire is monumental we're gonna oh yes there we go so thanks for watching guys and we're gonna bring up like I said the new changes uh, in the game or the new game for the series, I guess.